after successful, successful title defenses in their hometowns by Jamar Charlo and Demetrius Andrade in Houston for the WBC Middleweight Championship by Charlo and Providence for the WBO Middleweight Championship for Andrade. What's next for them? Can they secure a coveted fight with either Canelo Alvarez or Gennady Golovkin? And I guess my overall outlook on the middleweight division as of right now. So welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion if you enjoy what I do here, please like, please comment. On YouTube, please subscribe. On the other media that I post on, please follow. And what are their chances of securing fights with either Canelo or Triple G? Okay, let's get this part out of the way right away. When it comes to Jamar Charlo, the chance of securing a, a fight with either Canelo or Triple G is probably 0%. Now you're going to say, but he's the WBC champion and Canelo is the franchise champion, whatever, you know, title they gave him this week. And you're going to say, well, they can force a, a matchup. What you have to understand is that the Sync bodies do have some power, but not as much as the promoters and the TV networks. And it, this has to be that Jamal Charlo is with Premier Boxing Champions and Canelo, Triple G, Andre, Daniel Jacobs are all with promoters who are attached to the zone, either Matchroom or Golden Boy. And if the WC presses, you know, forces mandatory or forces a, a matchup. And I think the point of the franchise championship was to not force a matchup. I'm, I don't, don't hold me to that. But Canelo has enough clout to say, I'm just going to drop, drop, drop your belt to WBC. And that's what all it would take to not have that matchup, matchup happen. So don't count on a Jamal Charlo, Canelo Alvarez, or a Triple G matchup anytime soon. What about for Demetrius Boo Boo Andre? I'd put at 25% he'll, he'll, he'll get a fight with Canelo or Triple G. So as a zone promoted fighter, or connected fighter, the chances are better. Now, you may have heard stories that negotiations are breaking down between Triple G and Canelo for the third fight. But I believe, in the end, the zone who is a fledgling you know, newcomer to the scene who needs a big, big event will put down enough money to make both sides happy between Triple G and Canelo to make that fight happen probably in September. So just with that, I don't think either Charlo or Andre are going to be facing Canelo or Triple G in their next fights. However, if it does break down the negotiations between Triple G and Canelo completely, Demetrius Andre has a pretty good shot to secure a fight with one or the other. I think if negotiations between Canelo and Triple G break down completely, I do think Andre could be an option for either Canelo or Triple G. I also think that Callum Smith can also be an uh, option as, as well. 
So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that negotiation breaks down that Callum Smith and Demetrius Andre would be in line to get fights with Triple G and, and Canelo. If I had to guess, I have no idea who get who. Um, but I think Andre might get Canelo. Um, he's a, Canelo's a smaller guy. Although Canelo's interested in fighting Sergey Kovalev, which, which would probably be a catchweight fight in, at the end of the day. But um, he could be when he's fighting Callum Smith and Triple G fighting Andre. And that's his outlook on those, on those fights. So 25% of his is a random number throughout to make things interesting. Uh, but I do think that Canelo and Triple G are going to come to terms and have a fight, and fight in September. So. I honestly would not be surprised if he fought Daniel Jacobs next. I know Jacobs is coming off a loss to Canelo, but Jacobs is still a name, and Andre can use a name on his resume. I think it's a good matchup too. I slightly favor Jacobs, but Andre is capable of winning that fight. But what about um, Jamal Charlo? What do I see, see him doing next if it's not going to be Canelo or Triple G? Looking over the, that, that the eligible PBC promoted fighters, I think it's going to be uh, Sergey Jeremy, Jeremy Yanko. Terrible themes, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I, know he doesn't, know he doesn't, I know he does not have a lot of fights. His only loss is to uh, Daniel Jacobs. I've talked to people, talked to friends who think that he, he won that fight. <clears throat> so. It's a good matchup. I know Jer Jeremy Jienko was kind of supposed to fight Triple G when uh, Canelo popped positive for clenbuterol. Um, don't want to get into that right now, but I think that we're likely to see Andre Jacobs and Charlo, Jeremy Yanko as their next fights. On the side, I know it's difficult to make fights between two different promotions, but I think that if they really want that big fight with Canelo or Triple G, they might have to face each other. And again, I know that's a difficult thing to, to make happen with Jamal Charlo being part with being part of the PBC promotion and Andre, I believe it's Matchroom, but I know his I know his fights are shown on on the zone, so I just I just assume it's Matchroom. But that's what I see for them coming up next. So I guess I'll close this video out. Just going briefly over how I would rank the middleweight division right now. So. I'm doing my best to make these rankings based on on merit as I see it rather than who beats who or who I think looks better in the ring. And I'm going mostly on top of my head here, but on the top is Canelo. And I think he holds this position because of his uh, performance against Triple G where he's officially the winner in, in the last fight and has, has a draw. Yes, they're both close fights, but because they were uh, given to him a, the, the win and he had the official win and, and a draw, I gotta put him ahead of everyone else in, 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 this, in, this, in this ranking. Behind him is Triple, triple G. Uh, it's close, but again, uh, can I look at the official decisions in the win and the draw? But a lot of people feel that Triple G deserved to win that fight. I think it was a close fight. Could go, both fights were close. Could have gone either, could have gone either way. <clears throat> In all honesty, I probably scored for, for Triple G, but they're both they're both close. So I gotta give Canelo the edge in the rankings over Triple G. So Canelo one, Triple G two. After that, it gets a little interesting, I think. So 
at three, I have Andre. Um, I'm not saying he beats the guys ahead of him or the guys behind him, but I think largely based on beating Saliki, who's a good fighter, he's fought, he's fought some okay, decent guys, and his only loss was to Daniel Jacobs. I think that I had to put Andre at number, at number three and Charlo at number four. I do think Jacobs beats both of them, but they're, they'd be good fights, but I can't rank Jacobs ahead of them because they both hold championships that are coming off wins, whereas Jacob is coming off a loss, uh, of course, to Canelo. So, I get to put Jacobs next. I'm going to edge him over uh, Sergei Demyanko, uh, even though Demyanko is kind of coming off a win. But Jacobs beat uh, Jeremy Yanko, as I mentioned earlier in the video. So I got a same reason I put Canelo ahead of Triple G is the same reason I have Jacobs over Jeremy Yanko. After Jeremy Yanko, I have I have Rob Brent, who holds the shared WBA championship. Um, he actually fights this weekend against Roberto Mariota. Um, when he beat Mariota, I, well, I don't know how long ago that was. Uh, it was something of an upset. Actually, it was kind of a big upset. Uh, Mariota was being, being fast-tracked for some bigger things, I think. Um, so I got to go Canelo, Triple G, Andre, Charlo, Jacobs, Demianco, Brandt, and Mariota. Um, if you think I'm missing someone, let me know in the comments down below. So... As usual and as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you like what you heard on Sports Talk with Troy, again, please give the channel a subscribe if you're on YouTube. Also, there'll be videos and links to click on the side of me, either side of me. Uh, please check those out. If you're on Instagram, or any other, any other form of media you might be watching this on, uh, please follow. Uh, there'll be links in the description down below. Check out, please. And I thank you for watching, and I'll talk with you next video.